Hey everybody and welcome to day 13 of 31 and 31. And I said I wasn't going to watch anything fucked up, uh, but I did. But fucked up in a good way, not fucked up like, oh god, this is difficult to handle. And meanwhile, here comes Raina, because she wants to be a part of the video. Um, say hi again, Raina. And yeah, there you are. Um, but uh, today, the movie is House. Uh, and no, not the, the wonderful TV, story, uh, TV series starring Hugh Laurie. I was getting all those things jumbled together as I was talking. Uh, no, but the 1977 uh, wacky as shit Japanese horror movie uh, that everybody knows and everybody's talked about ad nauseum probably. Uh, but I don't know how many people have actually seen this movie. This is definitely my first time uh, seeing this movie. And it's something that she, she really wants to share the spotlight today. Um, but it's something that, like... I've always wanted to see, but I really haven't spent the time to sit down and do it and decided that this was the perfect time. It's on HBO Max right now. So, you know, and there's a definite reason why this is a cult classic. Because it's it's wacky as shit. Like, it's fucked up, but it's fucked up in a good way. I mean, from the way that the camera moves to these really harsh jump cuts to random uses of stop motion when you shouldn't really be using stop motion to ridiculous green screen effects, uh to just uh, cats being thrown off screen to on screen like that was that was terrible um yeah i mean the basic story of it is that there's a you know a girl named gorgeous and uh she was supposed to go on holiday with her father and her father brings home a new lover that is going to try to be her mama as her mom died eight years prior to this movie and uh instead she decides that she's gonna write her aunt who lives back in her mom's countryside right where she was from and go visit her aunt with her six you know best friends who all have different stereotypes and of course gorgeous is the cute one uh and then you have the kind of ditzy one in the clouds one you know fantasy the fat one mac prof the smart one kung fu the uh you know kung fu master the the tomboyish one um sweet and uh god i can't remember the last melody Sweet is the one that's sweet and cleans up the houses, you know, loves cleaning and shit like that. And Melody, of course, is the one that is uh, focused on music. Sweet. It's a very stereotypical, like, Japanese cast of characters, like, almost like you're putting them into, like, an anime of school things. And it starts out kind of interesting, but then it just gets weird when we are introduced to the ant for the very first time. And we find out how evil the, uh, the house is. Um... It gets kind of gory. It's not really super gory, but it's got some really weird things in it. It's definitely got some laughs. It's meant to be a horror comedy, and at times, like, it's aware of what it is. And I think that's what makes the movie kind of fun, is that it's definitely self-aware of what's going on. So, I mean, overall, um, I, I think that it's a fun film. I think that for some, it's going to turn them off. Uh, there are certain things that are just kind of, like, weird for the sake of being weird. And the ending is a little bit too long in tooth to be honest with you. Like, the last 10 minutes seem to take fucking forever. Uh, just get to the point. Like, I don't need to watch her, you know, open a door for 10 fucking minutes. Um, but that's just the way the movie goes. And and it gets a little messy towards the end when they're finally starting to, like, you know, kill off a lot of characters in quick succession when they did things kind of slow and int intricate in the beginning. So, otherwise, you know, it's a fun film. I definitely would give this a, a solid three bites to the ass. I mean... I think that it's silly, it's fun, um, if if it just had a little bit of a shorter ending, and, and they say that they're all pretty much amateurs that were acting in this movie, and a lot of people never acted before, and I honestly thought it wasn't bad, to be honest with you. Like, of course, this goes with my whole, uh, you know, when I'm watching foreign movies, I don't know what's bad and what's good in terms of, you know, the way people act, and, and Raina really wants uh, control of the phone right now, but uh, yeah, I mean... Just in general, I think it's fine. The movie's perfectly fine where it's at. It's just an average movie uh, that is fun to watch. So we'll catch you next time, and maybe Reyna will be here once again on another one of these 31 and 31 uh, horror movie reviews.